Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use AppyPy Connects for beginners in 2024. So today we're diving into AppyPy Connects, which is a user-friendly automation platform designed to simplify your workflow and integrate your favorite apps seamlessly. Whether you are new to automation or looking to enhance your productivity, AppyPy Connects offers intuitive tools to help you automate tasks effortlessly. So join me as we explore how to start using AppyPy Connects for beginners and make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open a browser that we'll use for this tutorial. For me here, I'm using Brave. For you, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open it, go to this URL section. Just type simply AppyPy and hit the enter button. Once you do so, you'll find yourself here. Click on this first link, which is AppyPy No Code App Development Platform Powered by AI. And as you can see, if you have an account, you'll be able to click here in the top right corner and log in. So log in into your account. As you can see, you'll be able to log in even Google, uh, Microsoft, Facebook, and I don't know what that is. Let's see, as an example, it seems like something with Microsoft, I guess. Yeah. So that's if you have an account. If you don't have an account, of course, you'll be able to go and click on join to create a new account. And you'll be able to create an account using Microsoft same option and google so for me as an example just go and create an account with google choose my account in here click on confirm or continue as you can see it will share with them the email your name and etc so you don't have to enter it manually and yeah once you do so as you can see this will disappear and you'll find yourself here so welcome choose a product that you want to start with so do you want no code development platform no code design platform no code workflow automation platform and no code business process automation platform for us, we want the API uh, automation option because we want to start to automate stuff. So as you can see, automate workflow and integrate 1000 plus apps with ease, streamline processes, save time and drive results with API Connect. So click on automate your business example. Once you do so, you will find yourself here. As you can see, a comprehensive solution for seamless app integration set up business automation to grow faster. So you'll get a seven day free trial. Then you will have to start paying $12 a month. Expects a reminder one day before your trial ends and you can cancel anytime. So if you click on try it free, as an example, they'll take you here to the checkouts. So you'll have to pay. Of course, you'll not be able to start like paying or start using this without. You're not going to pay, but you'll have to enter your cards information or your stripe information or whatever you're going to pay with it to pay with if you enter those informations out then you are you'll be able to use this automate station platform so you'll be able of course to automate your stuff on api of course i'm not going to do it here but for you if you want to get it you can just go and as we said you can cancel anytime that you want once you pay or uh, once, of course, you pay your API, Pi, you'll find yourself on the dashboard. Of course, you will not find this error here, which is oops, something wrong because payments failed, as you can see. For me, you'll for you will not find it. Of course, uh, as you said, this is going to be the dashboard for you. So the first thing that you should do is go to the Slice panel, first of all, and you can familiarize yourself, of course, of course with the website, first of all. And you can start exploring some uh, connects that already people did. If you're trying to use one of the things that's already automated, as an example, you can go here to Auto Connect or Quick Connect and see, as an example, uh, you can see, like, enter the app that you want to connect. As an example, I don't know which app are you trying to look for. Maybe Google something or maybe Gmail or something like that, let's say. And you're trying to connect this with something. As you can see, they give you some even examples. That's some some things, as you can see here, that is already made. People are already make it. So you don't have to create your own connection. As you can see, save new Gmail attachments, origin file format to Google Drive. Add new incoming Gmail emails. That's match a label to Google Sheets as new rows. So as you can see, you'll be able to do a lot of things. So send the private message in Slack from new Gmail searches. Search require business Gmail accounts. So as you can see, you'll be able to find, you can even load more, as example. Or if you're looking to connect it with maybe Discord, let's say. So you can look for Discord and you can see the automation for just Gmail and Discord. You can even load more and see like the connections that is already made by people. If you didn't find the connection that you want specifically, you can go and create your own connections. So as an example here, you can simply go and click on create, it connects and create this by your own from the beginning. 
you'll basically have to choose the trigger and then you can add as many actions as you want as example so you can add multiple actions if you want to delete something just go and delete it so just go and configure your triggers and actions uh, of course components of your connects to define trigger events conditions and subsequent actions you can customize parameters such as data fields filters and mapping to tailor your automation to your specific uh, use of access so example here for the trigger app you can look for whatever you want maybe as an example again gmail of course for gmail as you can see you'll need premium so you'll need the a better plan and as an example let's say when i receive a new email this is going to be the action of the trigger or the, the trigger action or the trigger events then you'll have to sign into your google account of course you'll have to do the connection and as you can see it's connecting me to my account once i choose the account click on continue and of course, as you can see, if I connect it, it will allow it to view my uh, email messages and settings, manage drafts and send emails, read components and email from your Gmail account. So click on allow to allow it. If you don't want to allow it, of course, you don't have to, but you will not be able to like uh, do this the connection with Gmail. So now, once uh, you did everything, it's time to test out to test if your trigger is working. Just choose the folder that you want to monitor for attachments. As an example, choose the one that you want. Then click on continue and run tests. If the test is working, you can just go now to action and choose your action once this trigger is triggered. As an example, I don't know, as we said, Discord. Let's say I want to send a message on Discord. As an example, or create even a channel. Rename a channel, find a name, find a user. Maybe I'll just do here, uh, create a channel and click on continue. And then I'll have to connect on my account also. So click on connect accounts. Make sure to connect to that account. Choose the server. Click on continue. As you can see, you will have to give it the all the things. So it's manage messages, manage uh, channels, and etc. Click on authorize. And as you can see, you will have to go through this. I am. Are you human or not? And it will be connected. Once it's connected, you will have to test it out. Click on continue. You will have to test it out. Basically. And you can add, as we said, multiple triggers or, or sorry, multiple actions and you will be good to go. Of course, before, as we said, deploying it, you'll have to test everything out. If everything is working, you can deploy it. And once you become more comfortable with AppyPy, you can explore it the advanced feature and log additional uh, automation capabilities, experiment with like conditional logic, error handling, scheduling, and data manipulation to create some complex and dynamic workflows tailored to your specific needs. So for me, that's going to be it for you, uh, for me today. There you have it. You've successfully learned how to automate some stuff with API Connects in 2024. So thank you for watching and I'll find you or I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.